एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल अजेस्त्रो मनी गुरु आई एम नीना एंड टुडे ऑन द फर्स्ट ऑफ फेबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वी आर डाइविंग इन टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ कमोडिटीज स्पेसिफिकली फोकसिंग ऑन ऑस्ट्रेलियन थर्मल कोल एक्सपोर्ट्स एंड द प्लान ऑफ वन की प्लेयर टेरा कॉम रिसोर्सेज सो बकल अप एंड गेट रेडी फॉर सम इनसाइटफुल इन्फॉर्मेशन बिफोर वी डाइव इन टू टूडेज एपिसोड Let's take a moment to revisit our video from the 25th of December 2023. In that video, we boldly predicted that coal prices would fall in the second half of January, contrary to the forecasts of other reputed international agencies who anticipated an increase. I am thrilled to announce that our predictions were spot on. Our scientific analysis, derived from factors such as commodities supply and demand, weather patterns, economic conditions, and geopolitical situations, proved to be accurate. Australia is a major exporter of thermal coal, which is used to generate electricity in many countries. According to the Department of Industry, Science and Resources, Australian thermal coal exports are expected to jump from 182 million tons in 2022 minus 23 to 203 million tons by 2024-25. That's a significant increase. Now, let's talk about Terracom Resources, a prominent Australian miner. They aim to sell between 1.8 and 2 million tons of coal from their flagship Blair Athol project in the current financial year, which runs from July 2023 to June 2024. This aligns with their sales from the previous year, indicating a stable performance. Blair Athol typically produces 5,500 kilocalories per kilogram NAR-grade coal, which is primarily sold to Japan, South Korea, and India. In the last quarter, which ran from October to December, production at Blair Athol increased by 13% to 546,000 tons. However, sales dipped slightly by 2% due to logistical challenges caused by weather and festive season slowdowns. Terracom's total coal sales across Australia and South Africa in the same quarter saw a 24% decline compared to the previous quarter. This was primarily due to logistical hurdles and festive season slowdowns which impacted both train and truck availability. Despite these challenges, the price of Australian thermal coal has been rising. Platts assessed the average price of 5500 kilocalories per kilogram NAR low ash coal at $99.86 per ton fob in October to December. That's up from $90.55 per ton fob in the previous quarter. This indicates a positive outlook for the market. In conclusion, with Australian coal exports expected to rise and coal prices remaining stable, Terracom's plans for the 2024 financial year seem achievable. However, weather and logistical challenges remain potential hurdles. So, it will be interesting to see how they navigate these obstacles and achieve their targets. For advance analysis on coal prices, contact us for our paid services. Our contact details are given in the description and on screen. That's all for today's episode. Keep watching Ajay Stromani Guru. Thank you for watching and good day.